Hello everybody, welcome to iExam B. Embrace the iExam B learning experience. We have started discussing previous year questions. In this video, we are going to cover previous year questions from SCRA which have come over the past three years. This topic is present in Securities Law, here Securities Contract Regulation Act. Starting with the first question, an act to prevent undesirable transactions in securities by regulating the business of dealing therein. This statement belongs to which of the following? SEBI Act, SCRA, Depositories, all of the above, any of the above. Correct answer here is B, SCRA Act. This is preamble of SCRA Act. Question number two, the conditions which the central government may prescribe for the grant of recognition to the stock exchanges may include the correct answer here is e all of the above all of these can be included in the conditions for grant of recognition to stock exchange this is as per section number four subsection two of securities contract regulation act question number three no person in the state or area specified in the notification shall say with the permission of dash enter into any contract for the sale or purchase of any security specified in the notification except to the extent and in the manner if any specified therein correct answer here is b central government this is as per section number 16 of scra power to prohibit contracts in certain cases question number four notwithstanding anything contained in any other law for the time being in force contracts in derivatives shall be legal and valid if such contracts are you can pause the video you can read the options the correct answer here is option b traded on a recognized stock exchange and settled on the clearing house of recognized stock exchange in accordance with the rules and bylaws of such stock exchange. This is as per section number 18A of SCRA. Question number 5. Any stock exchange which is desirous of being recognized for the purposes of this act may make an application in the prescribed manner to the the correct answer here is C to the central government. Application for recognition is made to the central government. This is as per section number 3 of SCRA. Question number 6. Which of the following is not included in the definition of securities under SCRA? The correct answer here is ULIP, Unit Linked Insurance Policy. This is option number E. This is as per the definition of securities under SCRA. Question number 7. According to Section 7 of Securities Contract Regulation Act, every recognized stock exchange shall furnish the dash with a copy of annual report and such annual report shall contain such particulars as may be prescribed. The correct answer here is B. Central Government. Recognized stock exchange shall furnish the central government with a copy of annual report. This is as per section number 7. Annual reports to be furnished to the central government by stock exchanges. Question number 8. Which act deals with the provisions relating to prevention of undesirable transaction in securities by regulating the business of dealing therein? The correct answer here is B. SCRA. SCRA has the provisions relating to prevention of undesirable transactions in securities. This is as per the preamble of SCRA, an act to prevent undesirable transactions in securities. Question number 9. Which section of SCRA deals with the provisions of title to dividends? Correct answer here is A, section number 27. Title to dividends is mentioned in section number 27 of SCRA. 27 of SCRA says, It shall be lawful for the holder of any security whose name appears on the books of the company issuing the said security to receive and retain any dividend declared by the company in respect thereof for any year, notwithstanding that the said security has already been transferred by him for consideration, unless the transferee who claims the dividend from the transferor has lost the security and all other documents relating to the transfer which may be required by the company. Question number 10. The bylaws under section 9 of SCRA Act provides that. The correct answer here is option number D, all ABC. Bylaws provide all of these provisions. The bylaws are made by the stock exchanges. This is as per section number 9 of SCRA. The bylaws mentions opening and closing of markets and regulations of hours of trade, clearing house for the periodic settlement of contracts and differences thereunder, delivery of and payment for services, passing on of delivery orders, and regulation and maintenance of such clearing house. Also, submission to the SEBI by the clearing house as soon as may be after each periodical settlement of all or any of the particulars as SEBI may from time to time require. Question number 11. Section 4 of SCRA lays down the provisions relating to the correct answer here is C. Grant of recognition to the stock exchange. This section 4 mentions about the grant of recognitions to stock exchange by the central government. Question number 12. The dash may delist the securities after recording the reasons therefore from any recognized stock exchange on any of the ground or grounds as may be prescribed under SCRA. The correct answer here is E. Recognized stock exchange. 
the recognized stock exchange may delist the securities after recording the reasons from any recognized stock exchange on any ground or grounds as may be prescribed this is as per section number 21a there was one more question related to definition of demutualization so question number 13 is the definition of demutualization given in scra so these are all the questions that have come from scra if you are preparing for sebi legal exam and you want any form of guidance preparation material any kind of support to prepare for this exam you can check out our courses you can get yourself enrolled 12 of our students got selected in 2023 as sebi legal officers where there were 25 vacancies that's all for now we at iexam we help you prepare 50 percent faster with a crisp and concise content subscribe to our channel stay tuned thank you